On the summer solstice, I think this is a beautiful time to be reminded of all the many ways that sunlight gives us energy. However, today I really wanted to talk all about melanin. So melanin might be a word that um, you've heard before, but what melanin is, is melanin is the pigmentation molecule of our body. So it's what gives our skin, our pigmentation, our hair, our eyes. And so yes, melanin is located on the surface of our skin, but also we have melanin located inside of our body as well in places like our eye, uh, deep in our eye, our central nervous system, inside of the, the deep parts of our brain, um, as well as in places such as our adrenal glands, right? So our body is really full of melanin internally as well. And so how does melanin tie to sunlight? Well, depending on the amount of sunlight our skin receives, our body has the ability to produce more and more melanin in our skin as a UV filtering mechanism so that we can adapt to still receiving the many benefits of sunlight, but the body only wants so much sunlight to penetrate it at any given time, depending on the intensity of the sunlight. So we have the beautiful ability to layer on melanin in our skin layers to help adapt and adjust to the sunlight we're giving our body. And so, yes, melanin, in a sense, does act as a potential UV filter, or I wouldn't even call it a UV filter. I would call it, it acts as a means of adapting and adjusting how much ultraviolet light penetrates deeper into our skin. And it, ultraviolet light only penetrates so far. But it, but you get, what, you get what I mean, essentially. It's this beautiful way that we can adapt to increasing amounts and intensity of sunlight. But Beyond that, there are so many more amazing properties of melanin. Uh, and what I'm going to highlight here is the research that's been done by Arturo Solis Herrera since the 1990s. Um, Arturo Solis Herrera is a true believer that melanin is one of the main mechanisms by which we literally give energy to our bodies and to our cells. And what he found throughout the course of his decades of research was that the melanin, both on our skin as well as deeper in our body, has the ability to absorb photonic energy or absorb energy from sunlight. And every melanin molecule in our bodies, both internally and even on our skin, is surrounded by structured water, right? This exclusion zone, easy, excited structured water. And so the cool part about that is that we've got all of this melanin that's surrounded by water on our skin, in our bodies. And as sunlight strikes the skin or even the deeper wavelengths, such as infrared that penetrate deeper into our body, as that light um, go uh, comes into contact with melanin, the reason why melanin has a darker pigmentation is because it absorbs light, right? It pulls it in. It doesn't reflect it back. And so it pulls in the, the wavelengths of light. And as it pulls in that photonic energy, that light energy, the water molecules around the melanin can split, so that's actually also, if you're familiar with the process that plants utilize, that's the first step of photosynthesis. Chlorophyll can absorb light, right, photonic energy, and split a water molecule. And that starts the cascade of reactions that we call photosynthesis that plants use to uh, produce glucose. We actually also apparently utilize sunlight in that beautiful capacity, and not just us. Melanin is, is, melanin is a molecule that has been conserved for literally millions of years. There have been sacks of squid ink that were found um, intact that are approximately 150 to 180 million years old. So we know that melanin is this beautiful molecule that has been found. It's found in every species on the planet um, in terms of at least the ones that are, are exposed to light. And not only that, not only is it found in every species on the planet, it appears as though that this was the energy generating um, pathway in the body before people kind of thought about ATP in a as an energy molecule, although, although that's flawed, but that's for a completely different video. So that being said, what does this mean for us? This means that literally as we allow sunlight to um, be um, basically penetrate our skin or be, be um, strike the surface of our skin and also penetrate deeper into our body, we can utilize melanin and its ability to split a water molecule. As a water molecule splits, actually it's two water molecules, as those two water molecules split, that generates molecular hydrogen. And remember, molecular hydrogen, I talk about this in my private community a lot and in my courses as well. Molecular hydrogen is essentially an energy donor. It's an electron carrier to the cells where all the cells then can use that electron energy to generate in the mitochondria more water, 
more ATP. Um, that molecular hydrogen, remember, also acts as a selective antioxidant, meaning that, that um, if, the, if this molecular hydrogen encounters a cascade of inflammation or oxidation or reactive oxygen species production, that melanin or that what that uh, molecular hydrogen can then donate its electrons to calm that inflammatory cascade. So this is such a cool thing to understand. And it, I, I'm just finding the more I dive into this and apply it clinically, the more simplified my health promoting strategies become. And so this is another reason why I encourage everyone to slowly build a better relationship with the sun. You don't have to go outside for hours and hours and hours on end to get this effect and you know, essentially put more sunlight onto your skin than you're adapted to handle. But at the same time, I want you to recognize how important it is to let that light shine onto our skin on a regular basis in order to utilize this beautiful energy donating capability of melanin in conjunction to all of the other many beautiful strategies involving sunlight and health from vitamin D to nitric oxide production to exclusions on water and more. So on the solstice, please go out, uh, allow some of that beautiful light to strike your skin and know that we are literally the same as plants in this capacity. We're absorbing the light, generating essentially human photosynthesis so that we can allow melanin to split a water molecule and give us energy.